This video covers the local aid initial and final invoice approval process, known as LAINV, in the New Jersey Department of Transportation's Project Management and Reporting System, or PMRS. We'll start with the initial invoice process. After the NJDOT Local Aid Project Manager accepts a municipality's bid information, the project manager creates the initial invoice and sends it to the local public agency, or LPA, for review in PMRS. The local public agency staff member who is normally responsible for invoicing, such as the chief financial officer, clerk, borough administrator, or manager, reviews for accuracy and size. When the municipal staff member who is responsible for invoicing signs into PMRS, they will see the LAINV process in the area on the home tab labeled Workflow in your court. Click on the LAINV-1 in the Named column to be brought to the invoice. The next screen will show the information typically found on the payment voucher. Review the information on the payment voucher, including the name of the municipality, the address of the municipality, the award of contract amount, the state not sharing amount, and the amount payable, which is equivalent to 75% of the state participating amount for municipal aid grant. If the information is correct, select Sign from the drop-down menu and then click the Take Action button. The process then goes back to local aid. If the information is not correct, select Void and then click the Take Action button, which will return it to local aid for correction. Now we will show you the final invoice process. The local public agency starts the final invoice process. Go to the Projects tab at the top on the global menu. Click on the title of your project in the column labeled Project Name. The Project Details screen will open. Select Processes from the Project menu on the left. Select the Start Process button on the top right. Select LA Invoice Approval Process, LAINV, from the pop-up window. There are two required fields on this screen, as indicated by the red asterisk. The Invoice Phase and the Commitment. For the invoice phase, select Final from the drop-down menu. Enter the state not sharing amount. Select the commitment from the drop-down menu. If you are a municipality that receives urban aid, you must select the urban aid commitment first and then the municipal aid commitment. For municipalities that do not receive urban aid, there will only be one option in the drop-down field. Do not update anything else. Select the Submit button. It will take a few minutes while some of the processes run in the background. Go back to Workflow in your court. You may want to hit the Refresh button in your browser so that the LAINV process reappears in the Workflow in your court area. Click on LAINV in the Name column. Alternatively, if you don't see it in your workflow, you can go back into the project, select the Process tab on the left, select All Processes, and then hit the Filter button before selecting LAINV from there. Next, move down to the section labeled Final Payment Voucher Details. Now it is time to upload your proof of payments. The amount that was paid for your previous invoice should automatically populate. Upload a summary of construction and a copy of your canceled checks or other proof that you paid for the construction. The summary of the construction is a summary of what was constructed and what was paid. If your construction costs are less than your grant amount and you are requesting reimbursement for materials testing and or inspection costs, please upload proof of these payments as well. Enter the actual construction cost, the state not sharing amount, the state sharing amount, and the design engineering costs, if applicable. Enter the material costs, inspection costs, and total project cost. Select Submit from the drop-down menu and then click the Take Action button. 
Now the NJDOT Assistant Project Manager or Project Manager will review your submission and check it for accuracy. The process is back in the LPA PM's court. Once the NJDOT Project Manager has reviewed your final invoice, they will return it to the municipality for review. When the LPA Project Manager signs into PMRS, they will see the process in the Workflow in Your Court section. Click on the LAINV2 in the Name column to be brought to the invoice. Be sure to check all of the dollar amounts and also check your municipality's name and address are listed correctly in the fields labeled Vendor Name and Address. If everything looks correct, select Sign in the drop-down menu and then click the Take Action button. If there are errors, select Void. The process will go back to local aid at that point and not move forward. The LPA project manager enters their password to confirm their identity before signing. The invoice will now appear in the Chief Financial Officer's court. They will click on LAINV2 in the name column to be brought directly to the invoice. It is time for the municipality's chief financial officer to certify that all expenditures for the project are supported by valid documentation and conform to the terms of the state aid agreement. The CFO must select one of two options. Is this project cost part of the annual single audit or will it be part of the next annual single audit? If the CFO notices anything that needs to be corrected, they can select revise from the drop-down menu. If everything looks correct, the CFO selects CFO Signature from the drop-down menu and clicks the Take Action button. The CFO enters their password to confirm their identity before signing. The invoice will now appear in the Engineer's Court. They will click on LAINV2 in the Name column to be taken directly to the invoice. After the engineer reviews the Project Completion for State Aid Projects Engineer Certification, which looks like this, the engineer will select Engineer Sign from the drop-down menu and click Take Action. The engineer will enter their password to confirm their identity before signing. Then the invoice will be returned to NGDOT to finish the process, after which the municipality will receive final payment. This concludes the local aid invoice approval process. A few reminders, stay tuned for additional training materials. You'll be able to find this information, including videos and PDF handouts on the NJDOT Local Aid Resource Center website at www.njdotlocaladrc.com slash PMRS. Remember to bookmark the website so it will be easy to sign in and find new resources. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when new content is added.